Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, it's a brand new week, it's chucking it down the rain out there, so I'm nice and cosy again in the workshop, I'm going to be doing the next five stages of the fan home release of Build the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet. And talking of fan home, look, I brought the ET uh, spaceship down because obviously at the end of this month, uh, I'm going to be starting the ET build. And that is over at the fan home website. Now, there is also another build from fan home, which is coming out in the next couple of weeks. This is it. Now, I know a lot of you have been waiting for that. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? But today, we are going to be continuing on with the gauntlet. As you can see here, we have been working on the index finger. I'm guessing we're going to continue working on that. Although, saying that, looking at some of the pieces I've got down here, they're really big. I'm not sure where they're going. I think it might be this area of the gauntlet, but we'll have to see as we do that. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I've put a link down in the video description, and there's also a QR code on the screen. If you scan that, it'll tell the folks from Fan Home you've come from the World of Wayne website. But without further ado... Let's get cracking. So, stage 32. Here's the magazine. Let's have a flick through. No idea. I haven't actually opened the magazine, so I don't know what we're doing. But yes, we are going to be continuing with the finger here, looking just like that. This is the index finger. So by the end of it, we've got the next uh, section of the finger completed. And here is the rest of the magazine. And this is what the finger looks like that we've been working on at the moment. I'm just going to put that to one side because here is stage 32. And quite simply, all I'm going to be doing is taking this section that's just come in that pack. Uh, it's going to be facing, uh, let me get this right, this way round. And it's just going to go into this area here. So we have got a uh, locating shape here. That shape's going to match this shape. Push that in and it should fit flush in there just like that now we do want to hold this into place so i'm going to put a screw through here that's one of these silver screws now all the screws for this build i'm actually putting in with my bigger ph1 screwdriver and it's just going to go through the hole there so get that in and make sure that's nice and tight and when you're happy that's in we have got a plate to put in looking like that just going to go in this way following the shape to hide that screw Push that in, and it should look like that. It should fit flush with all the other ones there, so you can't see that there's actually been a screw hole there. But that is all there is to do in that stage. So stage 33, I'm guessing we're going to be finishing that finger off. So this is the magazine. Have a flick through, and as you can see, we've got the last piece to put in exactly the same way with one screw and a cover on. And then that is the whole finger completed. And that is the rest of the magazine there. So once again, I do have that all ready to go. Now, even though we've got a pack of silver screws, I'm not actually gonna need that because I've still got two spare ones left over from the last stage. And again, it's exactly the same way that we have got a matching pattern in here, as you can see, and it is gonna go on this way like that. So matching that up, Make sure it fits perfectly flush in there, just like that. Grab a silver screw, and then line that up with the hole, and get that in as tight as you can. You need it to be deep in there. That's why I'm saying put it as tight as you can. Because if you don't, it's gonna restrict this part that we're about to put in. Again, this is gonna go in the same direction as just the other ones there. So it's gonna go in this way. And again, it should fit flush in there, like that. But that is the full finger completed. And that is also the end of that stage. So what are these big pieces that I've got here? This is stage 34, and I'm guessing it's probably this area here that we're gonna start creating now. 
So turn through the magazine. And it is, look, the center of the forearm. Massive piece here. By the look of it, we're not actually doing anything. It says, please note, the part received with this issue is not assembled yet. The assembly of this part of the gauntlet uh, forearm begins in the next issue. So uh, I will show you what that looks like and then we'll move swiftly on to the next issue. And they're not joking, are they? <laughs> check how big this is. This is gonna have to be a size comparison check with my head. It is a solid piece of metal and just on this top camera here, it doesn't look that big, does it? But check this out. <laughs> it's, it's the size of my head. Look at that. So uh, it's one massive piece of armor. But unfortunately, we don't do anything in this stage. So I will put that gently down there and we'll move on to the next stage. So the penultimate stage in this pack, this is stage 35. Here's the magazine looking like this and obviously we are building onto that so we've got another massive piece here with uh, some O1 screws we're going to be push piecing these two parts together so this is going to start growing as you can see there and again this is the rest of the magazine I think you'll find you're going to get a lot of me comparing this to my head because it's the only way I can show you about how big these pieces actually are so again, if I show you on the side camera, this looks like that, but as a size, it's pretty much like the other one. So we're going to join these together. And it's not too hard to see how this goes. We've got the actual indent for this here. So this is actually just going to match that onto this section like that. And it's going to be held in from the other side with these O1 screws. We need three of these. These are the black screws here. Now I'm going into metal here, so I want to put one in this bottom one here first. I have put these in oil. One in this bottom piece just here. And finally, just one on this top section here. And there you go. That piece is in. That's all there is to do in that stage. So nice quick build to start the week off. This is the last stage, stage 36. Here's the magazine. And once again, we've got another massive plate, which we're going to be adding to the piece we've just put in, which is going to extend this out. So it's looking just like that. And again, there's the rest of the magazine. I love the detailing on all of these parts. This is a really heavy piece, this one. Check that out. Obviously, this is going to be the forearm, I guess. Like that. <laughs> looking like that. Okay, and to put these two parts in, we want this this way around, and you can see we've got one, two, three holes, which are going to match these three lugs just here, here, and here. So join them together, just like that, and again, turn it over, and once again, it's these black screws that I'm going to be putting in place to keep these in. Put some oil on it, and get the first one in here. I'll put the second one just down the end here, which is just going to leave this one in the middle as the third one to go in. Now this is the last screw going in. You'd think this is easy, but again, I've had to use oil on this. I'm using my PH1 screwdriver, and believe me, my hand is aching at the moment. I've also got my hammer here to ensure that these are going completely flush into these sections here, because I need to get that screw in all the way. Otherwise, you're gonna have a gap under this section here. As you can see, I'm still managing to turn this screw. But we are good. And as you can see, it's nice and flush on that edge now. That's what that looks like. That's all there is to do in that stage. That is all there is to do in that pack. Now, is Fanus left-handed? I'm putting it on my right hand. Should it be on my left hand? I think he is left-handed, isn't he? So it's going to look just like that. Pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> Once again, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description there. You can get this all the way from pack one. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.